In this case, plaintiff gave defendant money to purchase tickets to sports events for plaintiff. The plaintiff used part of the money as agreed, but did not return $7,000 of the unspent portion. Conceding his obligation and threatened with legal action, the plaintiff asked co-defendant Stamler, his fiancée, to pay the debt with a check drawn on her bank account and promised to deposit the funds to cover the check in her account. Upon this promise, Stamler gave her the check for $6,000 payable to plaintiff, and he delivered to plaintiff in partial payment of his debt the check to plaintiff. Plaintiff accepted Stamler's check dated February 12, 2001 and deposited it in his bank account. Plaintiff, however, failed to deposit his promised funds into Stamler's account, so her check was returned to the plaintiff for insufficient funds. The plaintiff seeks summary judgment against Stamler for the amount of the check drawn on her account payable to the plaintiff and returned to the plaintiff unpaid. Stamler cross moves for summary judgment dismissing her as a defendant, claiming in defense that she received no consideration for her check. Plaintiff insists he is a holder in due course and thus not subject to any defense by Stamler. For the reasons explained below, the court grants plaintiff's no motion and denies Stamler's cross motion. If plaintiff is a holder in due course of Stamler's check, he took it free from all claims to it on the part of any person and all defenses of any party to the instrument with whom the holder has not dealt and may recover from Stamler the instrument's face value plus interest. In the triangle of transactions presented, the only party to the check other than plaintiff is Stamler. The undisputed facts that Stamler gave her check to the defendant, not to the plaintiff, that he delivered it to the plaintiff, and that the plaintiff accepted and deposited it as payment toward a debt the plaintiff owed to plaintiff further establish that plaintiff and Stamler did not deal with each other. Thus, if the plaintiff is a holder in due course, he is not subject to any defenses on Stamler's part. The plaintiff, the payee of the Stamler check, is a holder in due course if he took the instrument for value in good faith and without notice that the check was written on insufficient funds or that the promisor had a defense to her obligation to satisfy the instrument. And further, since Stamler is the only party to the check besides the plaintiff, only her claims and defenses are relevant and for purposes of determining whether plaintiff is a holder in due course, only claims and defenses to the check are relevant. Thus, any defense to her promise to the plaintiff or claim against him she may have is irrelevant to plaintiff's status as a holder in due course. Good faith is honesty in fact in the conduct of or transaction concerned. Although plaintiff was presumptively aware of the insecurity that accompanies a business transaction between individuals based on a personal check, nevertheless, notice under the Uniform Commercial Code is determined by what is actually known and by what he had reason to know or what would have aroused a reasonable person's suspicion in his circumstances. In this case, the actual notice must be such that taking the instrument amount in bad faith is bad. In determining good faith, the court must consider all the circumstances. Plaintiff, who bears the burden to establish that he is a holder in due course in the face of any defense in the check, attests that he accepted Stamler's check on the representation that the check was to satisfy his debt and to forestall legal action by plaintiff against defendant. Plaintiff denies any knowledge of Stamler's insufficient funds or of facts that would constitute a defense. Be that a denial or deniable is irrelevant in that the obligation to pay for Mirenberg because he did not keep a promise to deposit the funds to cover the check is irrelevant. Although the plaintiff knew Stamler received nothing from him for her check, no evidence indicates 
He knew she received nothing from Unenberg and had a claim against him. So, so. It was uh, 